Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Variety has recently named our next guest part of comedy's next generation, and his 6.6 .6 million TikTok followers would agree. It's our pleasure to welcome comedian Demarcus Sean. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I love your content. I'm so excited to meet you virtually. Tell me about when you first started hey. posting on TikTok <laughs> specifically. <laughs> I started posting around, um, you know, 2020 when the pandemic was going on. Uh, it was just like really boring for me. So like everybody in my family was trying to do like the trends and I really wasn't thinking nothing of it. But, you know, my videos was doing decent from there. And, you know, and here we are now. Here you are now where it's kind of evolved into a full-time thing for you. Is that the case? Yeah, yeah, which is a little bit crazy for me, something to get used to. I'm still trying to get used to it and wrap my head around it. Well, <laughs> I love your comedic voice because you have this superpower of observation where you're sort of mimicking things that we experience in everyday life, but it's so hilarious when you point out all these idiosyncrasies. Where did you kind of find that superpower within yourself? Um, well, I always, like, made videos, of, like, similar to, like, the, this form of content, kind of like my whole life. Me and my brothers would do it all, like, all the time and just send it back and forth to each other just for something funny and just something to do. So it was kind of natural for me to kind of, like, flow into this form of content online. And it's a great springboard. We've, I mean, I think a lot of us have discovered such great comedic talent on TikTok where people were just posting in the huh. pandemic because you didn't have another outlet. What's next for you? What are you hoping to do in the future now that you've earned such this massive following? You know, for me, I kind of see myself, you know, maybe directing a little bit more or creating um like a platform where other creators such as like myself can grow their content on a bigger platform instead of just like social media. So it will give them a chance to, you know, step into, um, you know, television per se and try to branch off into that instead of just starting directly on online. That's kind of like one of my biggest dreams. And then also, I'm a big foodie, so hopefully to start a coffee shop soon, I'm hoping to do that, so maybe. I love <laughs> that. That would be so fun, and I hope that you can come visit us here in Portland soon. We have a great food scene. We'd love to have you stop by. Of course. Of <laughs> course. I would love to come. Okay, I want to play our viewers a quick video of yours so they can get a little bit of a flavor of some of your posts. Let's take a look. Yeah. What? What? Uh. Are you serious right now? Uh. Everything okay? What happened? Huh? I heard you scream. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yo, Aunt Reese, the cabbages just started growing it. Girl, that is too good. <laughs> <laughs> Even if your mom isn't like that, you know somebody's mom like that, right? That's the beauty of yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom is actually literally all those. Anytime I make a video about, like, my mom, she'll call me and she like you made another video i'm like yeah yeah but it's all it's all good fun i love making like because i never try to like actually make fun of nobody it's just kind of like poking fun of like hey guys this is what we all experience on a day-to-day -day basis and it's just something where no matter who you are in the world no matter where you come from background um political religious anything we all kind of experience the same things in our life so i kind of i tell people like nobody's honestly like we're all not very different from each other even though we try to be we all we all are kind of like the same person but different fonts it's true all over the world it's the human experience and that's why so many people i think yeah. relate and love your stuff that your point of view videos those pov those are some of your most popular things. I was just watching the one where you're getting a phone call, but you're getting a text at the same time. You're on FaceTime, and you have to completely stop the FaceTime because to send a text, all must stop. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. It's, it's the most, I feel like that one is like one of the most like annoying things. If you're on the other end and you're talking with that person and they're just like, you're like, what are you doing? They're like, hold on, I'm getting a text. <laughs> You're like, you know what, just call me back. Just call me back, don't worry about and it. And it feels like an hour to send that one text that you're waiting. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, and all you just see is their head just moving like this. And it's like, what? what's going on? Like, we've been at this for a good, like, 15 minutes yes. and you're just doing that. What's your family's reaction to all the success that you've had, even if you roast them occasionally? And I'm sure they're so proud of you. At first, my mom and dad was kind of like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> they, honestly, it took them a while to understand, like, social media. So, like... At first, they were like, what is this? My dad, like, kind of, like, loved it a little bit at first. Like, he really loves it. Like, my, my mom is, like, the one where she's kind of, like, it's hard to wrap her head around it. My brothers, they love it. Um, my brother, my, actually, both of my brothers do content as well. Um, and my sister-in-law does content. So, like, everybody has their own form of, like, content of what they're doing. So it's kind of like already in the family where everybody does. That's cool. You know, You're ahead of the curve, a new media. family business that you're figuring out first. Hey, thank you for spending some time with us today. It was so great chatting with you. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. thank you for having me. I hope we see you in Portland soon. <laughs> yes, same. Look, I'm willing and ready to come, especially <laughs> for the food. We'll get you some restaurant <laughs> recommendations fired up. Hey, we'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. We'll